just talked to JP there. What have you seen out of him um, last couple, the first three weeks, really? I think uh, his integration to the team and, and to the league has is, is happened quickly, uh, which I think is great, obviously, for him, for us. Um, obviously, this week against uh, Nashville, it was a little bit of a different setup. They had a back five, and really their left wing back was really staying just tight to Joseph. So it was hard for him, especially in the first half, to kind of find spaces and ways to get involved in the game. Uh, so then he went a little bit searching around the field to get touches. Um, but I thought as the second half came along, we started to find him in some good pockets uh, and his influence started to come up. Again, his work rate for the group, both offensively and defensively, has been fantastic. I mean, the play that ends up being in a penalty, he goes 60 yards in recovery to make the play defensively at first. And then I think if he just plays out of it simple, it becomes a, you know, a play that we show uh, on Tuesday for a guy who's committed to the defensive recovery and helping the group. Instead, it becomes a play that we show we don't want to give up a penalty, right? But uh, but again, all of that has been been excellent. He's a wonderful human being, so he's just really kind of fit into the group seamlessly. And uh, you can tell he's creating relationships both on and off the field with the group, and, and he's, he's hungry. He wants to be here, he wants to win, and he wants to be successful. Uh, so that also helps helps kind of just our group to see a guy like that come here and want to be um, keep reaching higher levels and help the group be successful. So I couldn't be more happy. Uh, and I think, again, as he continues to settle and get more and more comfortable with the guys around him, which has happened pretty quick, I think he and Mark have a great relationship already over there. And uh, and obviously Ricky's ability to kind of find him in some of these runs and some of these movements have been nice. And also dayon has been the benefactor of, uh, you know, Joseph's pace and the group's ability to to be dynamic in the forward action. And, and Dayon's found himself some easy goals in the process. And I think that's a tribute to to um, to Joseph, but also others just around him. Mm -hmm. um, you, you brought up Mark there. I mean, yep. what more can you say about the way he's performed here so far this, you know, this season so far? Yeah, he's he's been fantastic. I mean, he's for me, he's kind of the epitome of our system. You know, he is uh, he's super compliant in terms of understanding what positions he needs to take up, what runs he needs to make, when he needs to make them. Uh, his I've always said about Mark, his ability to and willingness to transition from attack to defense and defense to attack is, of, is as good as anyone in our league. So he helps you in those moments. Uh, he's been very efficient and clean with the ball, which uh, one of the things I love about him is he never really steals time from anybody else. He's always getting guys the ball when they need it and, and opportunities and moments to be successful. Uh, and he puts in a huge defensive shift and, and he's the great balancer for us in that you know, later in the game, we adjusted our shape. I dropped him into a lower pivot position instead of, a, you know, a higher midfield position. And he, he just fell right into it seamlessly. He started to support Mickey so that Mickey could get higher. He started to do the responsibilities right off the bat. So uh, I think he's in a great space mentally and and uh, and physically. Uh, and the system functioning around him and with him is is really helped him, in my opinion, to just kind of keep taking huge steps forward and you know his shot which is a really good shot you know leads to the to the equalizing goal uh so again he's just finding a lot of ways to influence the game and and uh sometimes it's just in little subtle ways and sometimes it's in moments where he's getting assists and other things and so uh, gabriel's back um yep when did he get is his first day out here or? he was he got he was out yesterday uh so yesterday today since he's been back um yeah, it looks great. Just just reintegrating him back into the group and uh, get him ready to move forward. So, but he looks like uh, some of the stuff that might have been on his mind a little bit before, you know, getting married. That's always on everybody's mind. It seems like his he's uh, he's got that kind of behind him. I think his wife traveled back out with him, so now he has some of that that sort of settled, uh, and life seems to be a little bit calmer for him, which will really help him to kind of take off going forward. So we're excited to have him back. Uh, facing St. Louis, and you faced him early in preseason. Sure. What do you, do you take anything from that from that meeting there? Or maybe a couple of what, month and a half ago, probably. Yeah, al always. I think you know they they have a way of playing, and they're not going to really change their way of playing. And so, you know, playing them a little bit in preseason, you you get a, a feel for how they release their fullbacks in the press. You know, uh, they're really trying to get their back line whipped around and supporting the front six who are trying to initiate their defensive pressure. Uh, and so for us, it's, you know, again, ball speed, being in the right places at the right time or critical in this situation, being uh, reliable and responsible in our possessions, but also being willing to willing to go behind them and, and play behind their pressure and behind their rotations uh, is going to be important, you know. And so 
And defensively, they are very, very quick to play direct and play forward and play through your lines or runners are very aggressive to run behind for balls around the kind of around the corner. So uh, they just don't give you a lot of moments to kind of relax. You got to always stay sharp on it and, and always be prepared. And you got to always be responsible in your possessions because those are the things that they jump on and really use. And obviously they have the capacity to play really big. I mean, they've got two big guys who could play up front or they could bring in Jackson, who is just a crafty, fast, uh, good soccer player too. So they've got options, um, but they're not going to adjust the way they play. Um, they may dial it up or dial it down, but they're not going to change. And so, um, you know, always playing a little, playing them a little bit in the preseason gives you some some uh, version of what they're going to get. I'm sure it'll be more intense than it was in that first game, but the and the and the tempo will be higher. But in general, you get to get a sense of it. Um, coming off, you know, you're, you're down 2-0 against Nashville. You find a way to fight back, uh, to get a point there. Sure. What, 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 do you, what does that say about this group? Here? Yeah, I love the, the group's confidence, its belief in itself and each other. Uh, you know, the hard part in that game is we probably should have been up, you know, and so you have to manage the the emotion of where you should be in the lead and you you have created your opportunities penalty again uh and others then at the start of the second half we had two or three chances to get the second half started and then we were down one zero uh you know we felt that a little bit last year and we didn't always respond and this year the group again stuck to the agenda we made a couple of adjustments to add another number high up the field when we brought uh, miguel on which against their back five gave us another number higher which then i felt like we really started to kind of pull them apart and create more clear chances. Uh, and the guys stuck with it and, and made the plays they need to make. And I think we had plays in there that we could have wanted as well. And uh, and obviously John made a huge save uh, there late, which you're going to always have to have that, especially when you're pushing for the game. You got to have the keeper come up with one or two. And he did, uh, which has been great. But I, again, I think it shows this group is really together. Uh, they believe in each other. Uh, they believe in what we're doing in the process. And they just stuck to it for 90 minutes. And they got something out of a game that had its ups and downs for us, but but in the end, you know, you take the point. Even though I think inside, if we would have talked about it, we've been a little frustrated that we weren't able to get on top of the game and maybe get three. Oh, well, it's two draws in the first three games. Um, I'm all looking back, it probably should be three wins. Where, where do you set at with the first three results? Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, I think we could be easily sitting on nine, but I think as this team continues to learn how to win games, put teams away, execute, uh, as they grow together, hopefully we can turn those draws into wins, uh, get out in front of games uh, and close out games. Those two things are important, you know, to the points at the end of the day. Um, but I think what we see is some clarity in, th in terms of what we want to do on the field. And now it's turning that clarity into just consistent results and three points. I think we could be very easily sitting on nine, but we have seven. We're unbeaten. Uh, we've had to, to go about that in a couple different ways. Coming from behind this week shows a different resiliency than maybe we had to show in the other games. But uh, but I think it's it's a solid start. Uh, I think when we continue to push where we want to be, we would want to see nine out of the end of those three games based on our performances and how the game's set up. But um, yeah, we just got to keep working and stick to the process and keep growing together as a group. And I think we will keep uh, we'll keep putting points on the board for ourselves. Thanks, great. Yep. Yeah. Gracias.